We learned about the fundamentals of MongoDB and we learned how to perform CRUD operation in MongoDB. We also learned how to host a remote database on Atlas and connect to that database from MongoDB Compass and MongoDB Shell. Now in this lecture you will learn how to connect to remote MongoDB database and to your local MongoDB database from the Express app. And the first step in doing that is to actually get the connection string. And to get the connection string, you can click on this connect button. And here you will see some options. So here we want to connect to this remote database from our node application. So for that, you can select this option, connect your application. When you click on that, it is going to ask which driver you are going to use. So since we are creating a node application, we are going to use a Node.js driver. But if you are using Python language or Ruby language, based on the programming language, you can select the driver. Okay. In our case, it is going to be Node.js. And from here, you can copy the connection string. So to copy this connection string, you can click on this button, this copy button, and it will copy that connection string. Now let's go to our node application. And here in the config file, let's go ahead and let's create one more environment variable and let's call it con underscore str for connection string. And to that, let's assign the connection string, which we have just copied. Now in this connection string, we need to replace this password with the actual password. So the actual password is this password. Let's copy that and let's replace it here. And then this is the host name where our database is hosted. After that, we have this slash. And after that, we need to provide the database name. In our case, the database name is Cineflex. So this is our connection string. Now, if you're connecting to a local database, that is the database on your local MongoDB server installation, then what you can do is you can create another environment variable. You can call it maybe local connection string. And to that, you can assign the local connection string. And the local connection string is mongodb colon double slash localhost colon the port number and the port number is 27017 slash the database name. And here the database name is Cineflex. So this is the database which we created in our last lecture. Now I don't have this database in my local MongoDB server. But if you want to connect to your local MongoDB server, in that case, you can go ahead and create that database. Okay. And it should be local connection string. Now, the next step is to install a MongoDB driver. This driver is basically a software that will allow our node code to access and interact with a MongoDB database. And there are a couple of different MongoDB drivers available for Node.js, but we are going to use the most popular one and that is Mongoose. Mongoose adds a couple of features to more native MongoDB drivers. So let's go ahead and let's install Mongoose from NPM. For that, we can say NPM install Mongoose. Now, if you want to install a specific version, so after this package name, after this Mongoose, you can use this at, and then you can specify the version. For example, if you want to install Mongoose version 4, you can specify that. Okay, here I'm going to install the latest version of Mongoose. So I'm not going to specify any version. Let's press enter and it should install Mongoose from NPM. Okay, so installation is complete. If we go to this package.json file, there you can see in the dependencies, we have this Mongoose and there the version is 6.9.2. Now we want to use this Mongoose driver to connect to our database. For that, let's go to this server.js file. If you remember, server.js is the file where we do all the setup of our application. For example, setting up the environment variables or importing the ex express application. And we also start the server in this server.js file. And this is the file where we are also going to configure MongoDB. So for that, let's first go ahead and let's require Mongoose. So let's create a variable. Let's call it Mongoose and let's call this require function and there let's pass the package name which is mongoose so now we have access to this mongoose variable on this mongoose variable we have a method called connect in order to connect to mongodb database and the first argument which we need to pass to this connect method is the connection string and we are storing the connection string inside this con str environment variable 
okay so this con str environment variable is storing the connection string for the remote database server but if you want to connect to your local database server in that case we are creating this environment variable local connection string and to that we are storing the local connection string okay so in that case you can use this local connection string environment variable but here i want to connect to my remote database server which i have created on atlas for that i am going to use this con str variable so in order to access that environment variable first we need to use this process on that process we have this env variable and on that we can access the connection string environment variable okay so this is the first argument the second argument is basically an object where we can set some options these options can be set to deal with some deprecated warning messages okay and here we are only going to set one option which is use new url parser okay and we are going to set it to true now this connect method it is going to return a promise if that promise is resolved we can handle that resolved promise using this then method and to this then method we need to pass a callback function that callback function we can specify using the arrow function syntax okay and this callback function is going to have access to the connection object let's go ahead and let's call it maybe con so this parameter here it is going to receive the connection object and when this promise is resolved that means the promise resolved by this connect method is resolved we want to execute this callback function and when this callback function is executed inside that we want to log the connection object in the console so i'm using this console.log statement and there we want to log the connection object and i also want to log a connection successful message in the console so here let's say db connection successful okay with this let's save the changes here let's go ahead and let's run this application for that let's type this command npm start if I press enter so here you can see we have this message db connection successful that means our node application is now connected to the remote database server and if i move this terminal a bit up here you can see the connection object okay and this connection object has a bunch of properties okay as you can see here so these are all the properties which this connection object has i just wanted to show you this connection object how it looks okay but we are not going to use it so let me go ahead and let me remove this or i will simply comment it and i will keep it for your reference now if you want to connect to your local mongodb server then instead of using this con str so instead of using this environment variable you can use this environment variable now there might also be some problem when connecting to the database for example the host might be down or we might have error in our connection string and in that case we should catch the error for that after this then we can also use this catch method okay and this catch method is also going to take a callback function and this function is going to receive the error object okay now i'm going to leave the error handling for the future lectures here what i will do is i will simply log a message in the console saying that some error has occurred we will talk about error handling in the future lecture in great detail but in order to handle any error on the promise which this connect method is going to return we can use this catch method all right and as a final step from the database from this atlas server we have our database in this cluster zero from there let's go ahead and let's remove our collection so if i go to this collection step here we have this cineflix database and in that database we have this movies collection so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this movies collection from here we are going to create this collection from our node application and to delete this i can simply click on this delete icon okay here we need to provide the collection name let's call it movies i mean this is the name of the collection which we want to delete and here we can click on this drop button so it should drop the movies collection from this cineflix database okay all right so this is all from this lecture 
In this lecture, we learned how we can connect our Node.js application to a remote MongoDB database server or to a local MongoDB database server. From the next lecture, we are going to start working with MongoDB database from our Node.js application.